Hey, what's up, guys? This is my LFO Tool course. We're going to be going over all the aspects of LFO Tool. Uh, LFO Tool is a host, syncable, and free-running modulation device. You work with things called graphs, and you route these, the LFOs, to different parameters on the side here. In this video, we're going to be going over the UI, the user interface. It's pretty straightforward. We have our graph section here. We draw in our graphs, and we have our rate down here, swing and phase, we can change it around and adjust them. We have graph pages, 1 through 12, and what that does is you can use your MIDI keyboard to jump around between different modulations, so good for dubstep. Over to the left here, we have a filter, so it's kind of a, an esoteric under the hood aspect that not a lot of people know about is there's a lot of different filters. It's an excellent filter tool uh, with drive and uh, different comb filters. So when you pump the resonance up, you can do some really interesting kind of spongle effects. Uh, and there's even some interesting ones like format, which we'll get into, and reverb, which takes an impulse response and applies that to a filter, which is pretty cool. Uh, you have your MIDI section here, which we'll probably get into. Uh, scope, which we'll get into, and uh, our routing here. So each page can be routed to a different parameter. For example, cutoff or volume, and uh, that's how the auto filter or sidechain compression works. Uh, we can split it with a crossover, so you get multiband compression. So say if you only wanted to kind of duck the the low end but leave the high end for your compression, or your sidechain compression, you can do that. Uh, you have your different shapes, uh, your drop downs here, drop down. So you can have sidechain one, sidechain two, and you can, of course, save these. And uh, yeah, that is the intro and UI for LFO tool.